good morning uh, students today we will be covering uh, the topic diet and nutrition in oral health well as you know diet plays an a major role in uh, uh, providing the energy and uh, providing the special nutrients minerals vitamins etc well if you uh, ketogenic diet can cause also uh, can also cause dental caries so diet is very important for maintaining a good health uh, these are the contents coming to introduction what is food a food according to oxford dental dictionary any substance which when taken into a body or organ may use either to supply energy or a build or to build a tissue well nizel in 1989 uh, stated that anything that is taken drunk or absorbed for the maintenance of life growth and repair of the tissue it is called as food oxford dictionary again uh, said that referred to as food and drink regularly consume nizel total oral intake of the substance that provides nourishment and supply and it is uh, the scientists state that it is the total intake of substance that furnish nourishment or calories coming to nutrition oxford dictionary has described that it is the sum of process of growth for the growth maintenance and repair of the living body and the whole or its constituent part others definitions are also there but the uh, definition given by oxford is mostly acceptable coming to balanced diet the definition of balanced diet is very important it can come as a short note or plus that's a viva question it is defined as a one which contains variety of foods in such quantities and proportion that the need of energy amino acids vitamins minerals and fats uh, carbohydrates and other nutrient is adequately met for maintaining the health vitality and general well being and also makes a small provision for extra nutrients to withstand short duration of illness into the principles of balanced diet the daily requirement of protein is 22 uh, 20% of day, uh, daily energy intake fat requirement is limited to 20 to 30% where carbohydrates rich in natural fiber should be consumed more well as micronutrients should be consumed more nutrients again there are two types uh, different different types of nutrients are available they are divided into micronutrients and micronutrients micronutrients are called as uh, which uh, are often called as proximate principles because they form the main bulk of the food uh, following proportion proteins uh, in the micronutrients 7 to 15% of protein 10 to 30% of there is uh, fats and 65 to 80% are of carbohydrates whereas micronutrients uh, consist of vitamins and minerals and various uh, several vegetables coming to proteins proteins forms amino acids 24 amino acids is i think uh, 24 amino acids are there nine are essential amino acid remaining are non essential amino acid they are its simple type a uh, simple conjugated derived uh, can have various sources a uh, best source is meat source for having a protein functions of protein again can everyone knows uh, for repairing the body tissues body building osmotic pressures supply of energy and supply and supplementary actions assessment of protein nutrition status you can assess by serum serum albumin concentration it should not be more than 3.5 uh, g per deciliter a level of 3.0 g deciliter is considered as severe malnutrition requirements of protein uh, daily rdi uh, what i have suggested for men it is uh, 60 g per day for adolescent boys 65 and for lactating mother it is more that is 75 g per day coming to our protein energy malnutrition it will mostly consist of marasmus and kwashiorkor it is a viscous circle of infections and malnutrition you can see in the diagram the protein energy malnourished child uh, he has lost his all the tissues the principles of protein energy malnutrition uh, again marasmus he will lose and subcutaneous fat uh, will have diarrhea decrease in weight and kwashiorkor it is edema of the face edema of the leg diarrhea hepatic enlargement decrease serum albumin coming to preventive measures for protein energy malnutrition first is most important is health promotion promotion of breastfeeding measures to improve family diet family planning there should be space between every uh, spacing should be done by the family for uh, every child specific protection protein and energy rich food should be consumed immunization and food fortification is done should be done for fortification early diagnosis and treatment periodic surveillance uh, deworming for programs uh, feeding program should be carried out uh, rehabilitation center should be there hospital treatment and follow up care should be done
और प्रोटीन एनर्जी में अलरिशमेंट प्रोटीन से नोरल हेल्थ प्रॉपर बोन एंड डेंटल डेवलपमेंट इज टन प्रोटीन इज कंज्यूम इन रिक्वायर्ड क्वान्टिटीज क्राउडेड एंड रोटेटेड टीज इफ इट्स नॉट कंज्यूम विल लीड टू एन एट्रोपी ऑफ जेंजाइवा डिजेनरेशन ऑफ सीमेंटम एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पेरिडोंटल टिश्यूज इन प्रोटीन एनर्जी मालनरिज चाइल्ड Going to fats and oils. Fats are the solids at twenty uh, degrees centigrade. There are simple lipids and compound. Uh, simple lipids, compound and derived lipids. Fatties, fatty acids, and glycerol on hydrolysis. The fatties are again divided into fat acids are again divided into saturated fat acids and unsaturated fatty acids. The sources are animal fats, vegetable fats. You can the most easily consumed uh, junk food will have this uh, fats. Uh, there are fat soluble vitamins also and essential fatty acids fatty requirements daily intake of not more than 20% of total energy requirement fat diseases will lead to obesity hypertension many of the obesity related diseases atherosclerosis uh, occurs due to deposition of fats coming to vitamins they are the micronutrients enable uh, enable the body to use other nutrients two groups fat soluble vitamin and water soluble fat soluble e d e k and water soluble b uh, b complex uh, sorry b complex groups and uh, vitamin c vitamin a uh, known as other name as retinol or retinoic acids functions it's all related to the vision and uh, skeletal growth bone remodeling normal reproduction health and oral structures There are sources: animal foods, plant foods, uh, green leafy vegetables like papita and uh, uh, you can get uh, radish, uh, carrots. All are good source of uh, vitamin A. Uh, disease uh, deficiency of vitamin A may lead to xerophthalmia, blind blindness, white out spot, uh, keratomalacia. All will lead to uh, deficiency. All these things uh, leads because of because of deficiency of vitamin A. Xerophthalmia is if your dry eyes, sore eyes. Vitamin E prophylaxis schedule uh, for childrens uh, newborn children it is twenty eight milligram at the birth this should be maintained. Vitamin E deficiency in oral disease hyperkeratosis and hyperplasia of the gingiva crowd there will be crowding of teeth retards and amyl formation. Excess of vitamin E causes enlarged liver and spleen yellow orange discoloration of skin and oral mucosa. Management of uh, vitamin E deficiency in infants at three hundred and fifty. Microgram to beta carotene can be given, or 1200 uh, microgram beta carotene can be given. Vitamin B, known as thymine, sources are whole grain, wheat, gram, yeast. Thymine is uh, lost during the milling of rice, washing, and so we should be avoid uh, thymine fruits is lost due to the storage. Vitamin B deficiency, beriberi, and vernix encephalopathy. Oral manifestation includes loss, uh, burning, uh, tongue loss of taste, burning sensation on the tongue. This is the diagram showing the severe case of beriberi. Comes the vitamin B2. Oh, sorry, recommended allowance daily requirement of it. Uh, thymine is 0.5 milligram per thousand kilocalories. Prevention, diet modification, and improve chronic conditions. Riboflavin, vitamin B2, uh, cellular oxidation cofactors are present. Metabolism of carbohydrate sources again milk, eggs, liver, kidney requirement daily requirement 0.6 milligram. Riboflavin deficiency can cause glossitis, cellulosis, and facial skin dermatitis of the facial skin and vomiting. Niacin again B3. B3 is also known as niacin or neotenic acid. Sources are liver, kidney. It can be consumed. Uh, daily requirement 0.06.6 milligram per thousand kilocalories of energy intake. Deficiency will lead to pellagra, glossitis, or uh, stomatitis. Uh, prevention can be done by improved standard of living and by diet modification vitamin b6 pyridoxin exist in three form pyridoxine pyridoxal or pyridoxamine balanced diet usually contain pyridoxine so deficiency is rare folate also known as folic acid sources are green leafy vegetables liver meat uh, fruit cereals etc requirement is 100 mg per day uh, and for children it is again children and adults so uh, 100 mg per day deficiency megaloblastic anemia uh, and Cellulitis is there. The, this distension, flatulence, infertility, sterility can be due to deficiency of vitamin B6. Vitamin B12, also known as cyanocobalamin, is a metabolic uh, 
compound with cobalt atom sources are liver meat again normal adult required is 1 microgram per day deficiency is to pernicious anemia ankle swelling difficulty in walking bright smooth beefy red tongue uh, vitamins functions it uh, helps in tissue oxidation facilitates absorption of iron daily requirement is 30 to 40 milligram per day Deficiency leads to scurvy, uh, swollen and bleeding gums, uh, delayed wound healing, anemia and weakness. Coming to vitamin D, it's also known as ergo calciferol, uh, coal calciferol is also its other name. Vitamin D is largest stored uh, largely in the fat deposits. Sources, uh, liver, sunlight is the main source, other sources are liver, egg, yolk, uh, egg yolk fish, uh, meat, cheese and butter. Adult uh, requirement is 2.5 uh, microkilogram per uh, day. Functions, internal absorption, tubular resorption, permits growth of the tissue, maintains serum, calcium and phosphorus levels. Deficiency will lead to rickets, uh, bony deformities include curved legs and pigeon chest is there. Signs of rickets, you can see the pigeon chest well, plus curved legs are the signs of rickets. Osteomalacia it occurs in the adults, especially during the pregnancy and lactation of vitamin D needs to be met. Vitamin E antioxidant daily requirement is 0.8 microgram per day. Vitamin E deficiency is rare in human beings. Vitamin K, K1 and K2 functions to catalyze the synthesis of clotting factors. Uh, hemophilic patient is uh, vitamin K is useful in treating the hemophilic patients. Daily requirement 0.03 milligram per kg body weight deficiency will lead to clotting time prolonged clotting uh, clotting time and bleeding disorders uh, gingivitis and periodontal diseases uh, vitamins and periodontal diseases vitamin a uh, deficiency or vitamin a is useful for marginal gingivitis deficiency is uh, will lead to marginal gingivitis vitamin b deficiency will lead to gingival inflammation vitamin e will lead to uh, there is no effect of vitamin E on periodontal tissues. Folic acids, reduction of gingivitis with the folic acid mouth rinses. Vitamin C, action on nutrients. Key role in the collagen synthesis, extensive evidence of the effect on periodontal tissues and gingival tissues. Tongue and vitamin B deficiencies, chronic glossitis, magneta tongue, scarlet tongue glossitis and beefy red tongue. As you can see in the diagram, the magneta red tongue Minerals classification, major minerals and minor minerals. So major minerals include uh, calcium, phosphorus, sodium and potassium. Then there are various trace elements which is required in small quantities for the in the body uh, for, for, for proper functioning of the body. They are iron, iodine, chlorine, molybdenum, selenium. Trace elements with known functions are lead, mercury and aluminium. Calcium, a major element of the body, 98% of calcium is found in the bones. Sources are milk and milk products, green leafy vegetables, cereals, fruits egg and fish. Deficiency will lead to bony deformities or osteomalacia. There is low blood calcium causes tetany also. Functions rigidity and strength than the bones and teeth. Blood coagulation, muscle contraction and integrity of various membranes. Phosphorus, uh, second most abundant mineral in the body after calcium. Phosphorus is found in the bones and animal and functions. Formations of bone and tooth minerals. Intake of 800 to 1200 milligram of phosphorus uh, daily is recommended for an adult. Osteomalacia and porosis deficiency due to vitamin D, calcium and phosphorus whereas osteoporosis is decline in anabolic, anabolic hormones like estrogens and pituitary glands. Uh, general weakness will be there in osteomalacia. There will be normal calcium phosphate levels in the serum. Magnesium, it is required in 30 to 65 uh, gram of magnesium daily. Functions, it helps in cellular respiration, transfer of water in and out of the cells. Deficiency called malabsorption syndrome, acute diarrhea, renal failure. Iron, again it is required in 3 to 4 gram of iron uh, is required per day. Formation of hemoglobin, brain development of functions, production of antibiotics. Sources, there are two types of uh, iron, heme iron and non-heme iron. Contents uh, the sources are uh, mostly found in green leafy vegetables, legumes, oil, nuts. Iron requirement by infants is 0 0.7 milligram per day, whereas male adults require 1 milligram per day. Iron deficiency or uh, decreased storage of iron without any detectable abnormalities. Overt iron deficiency with decreased hemoglobin concentration. 
WHO export committee identifies anemia of hemoglobin level in the blood is less than 11 gram per deciliter. Clinical manifestation, fatigue, pallor and extremities. Oral manifestations include tongue, atrophy of the tongue, smooth shiny red appearance on the tongue, angular stomatitis. Iodine deficiency, thyroxine and triiodothyronine synthesis of thyroid hormone. 15 to 30 mg of uh, iodine is required per day. A deficiency will lead to goiter. Hyperthyroidism of cells lining the follicles along with the increased colloidal material. A patient may also develop exophthalmus. Oral effects are retarded jaw uh, growth. A delayed eruption of teeth root resorption is common. Fluorides. Again, fluoride is a very important element for the prevention of uh, dental caries. Dietary 1 ppm is required daily. There are many uh, sources. Fish, jawar, potatoes and cubers are the prime sources of fluorides. Benefits. Again, in the uh, help in the reduction of dental caries uh, by increasing the enamel resistance, interference with the uh, uh, plaque microorganisms or caries microorganism post eruptive maturation. Other sides of endemic fluorosis or mottled enamel, if it has taken in excess, it may lead to endemic fluorosis and mottled enamel. If it's more consumed uh, more than 8 to 10 ppm, it may lead to skeletal fluorosis, also known as knockney syndrome. Dietary fluoride supplements, many uh, dietary fluoride tablets are available, lozenges, lozenges uh, fluoride drops are available. Uh, and being a dentist, uh, every dentist can prescribe this uh, fluoride supplements. It's a preventive measure, can be taken at home. Uh, another trace element, selenium, changes the protein content of the tooth and make the enamel more susceptible to the caries. Molybdenum, low caries incidence among the children. Sodium, common salt is uh, the common source. Hypertension, uh, atherosclerotic disease can be developed. Functions of food, uh, physiological functions, social functions and psychosocial functions uh, has been uh, there. Then there are physiological functions, control of acid balance, coagulation of blood. Social functions of food uh, includes integrated part of the social social fees of university living. Psychosocial function of a token of French serving of favorite foods, withholding of food uh, wanted foods. Energy yielding foodstuffs are fuel food, cereal, starchy, uh, starch, vegetables, pulses, nuts. Bodybuilding foodstuffs are contain the satisfactory, uh, satisfactory amount of nutrients. Milk and milk product, fish, meat, egg uh, can be consumed. Protective foodstuffs are all natural foodstuffs, green leafy vegetables, fresh fruits, milk, meat and eggs. Nutrients value, kilocalories, the amount of heat required to reach the temperature of 1 kilo, 1 kg that is 2.2 LV of water in 1 degree Celsius. Conclusion, sustains this uh, food, oral health, uh, nutrition and food sustains for the life. Adequate nutrition is required for the maintenance of healthy life. Obtain the benefits of all, whatever the nutrients, uh, micronutrients, whether it is micronutrients or mere, uh, macronutrients. And being a public health dentistry, it is our responsibility for to do the promotion of uh, regarding the intake of good food, promotion of breastfeeding, family planning, education of individual for not having a gerogenic type, water fluoridation, salt fluoridation, milk fluoridation can be done with this. Thank you.